What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. I hope you guys are ready for an adventure today. We are going to be venturing out farther than we have ever gone before and I'm pretty excited about it. We are going to be going to the second ring of islands. So I believe there are 20 islands in total in each map that kind of randomly spawn all over the place. Obviously this is our home island and then we visited four others so far. We've got Primo, Shipwreck, L Island and then Crab Island over there. We're gonna be going out to Primo today and then going beyond Primo to the next ring of islands. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm assuming the farther you go, the crazier stuff you're gonna see, the more stuff you're gonna be able to collect. It's gonna be a lot of fun and um, we'll see what happens. Now, we're pretty much good to go. It's uh, just turned five o'clock here, so the sun's gonna be going down soon. That's gonna be perfect for us to be able to travel without getting exposed to the UV throughout the middle of the day. Uh, I've pretty much got stuff good to go here. You guys can see we've got all of our tools and spears and stuff like that. We've actually got a compass here to make sure we don't get lost. Uh, and here we've got shark repellent, two aloes, and some smoked meat, which does not go bad. And uh, then other than that, we've got all these empty wood crates to be able to pick stuff up wherever we end up going. There are a couple of things we have to do before we leave. Number one is take care of our farm. So we are going to be upgrading this farm soon. You guys know if you do the corrugated farm plot, it lasts a lot longer than just these simple wood ones. So uh, I feel like this is this is perfect. We might be gone for a couple of days. This could end up dying. We are going to get rid of it anyway. So I'm just going to pick up all of our aloe and stuff here. I'm going to pick all these crops and then we may just have to replant them. But um, that's fine because we are going to upgrade them anyway. So that's a lot of aloe. Do we have PP good to go? I could have sworn, yep, we've got a PP pee -pee good to go. All right, so we've got two PP pee -pee here. Then we've also got these kawawa fruits, which are really good for food and for water. Nice. All right, so if we're back before these things die, fine. If we aren't, that's okay too. We're gonna be good to go. Let's go over here. I'm gonna drop these in our uh, in our little little food crate so we have food on our way out there. We won't have to worry about actually getting food. We're just gonna be able to eat out of our crate. So that's gonna be really, really nice. So we've got that. Another thing I learned, and this is like soon, probably next episode, we'll do a farming episode. Potatoes are actually what you put in the fuel still to be able to make fuel. So we really need to upgrade our farm plot. I want two PP plants. I want two potato plants, two aloe plants, that sort of thing. So we're going to be good there. Now, the last thing that I want to do, the last thing I want to make sure we do here is we want to create a sleeping bag. So if we come in here, I think it's, is it under consumables? No. What's it under? Where's the sleep? Uh, it might be furniture. Okay, so we need three sticks, three cloth, and three leather. Whew, that's kind of an expensive one, but uh, that's okay. There's three leather. We need three sticks. One, two, three sticks. And then we need three cloth, which how do you make cloth? I think you make cloth on the, the loom. You need four fibrous leaves to make one cloth. So we need 16 fibrous leaves. We should have enough 12. Did I say 16? We only needed 12. So we're going to come over here to the loom. We're going to make cloth, cloth, cloth. And then we should be able to make that sleeping bag here. Boom. We've got a sleeping bag. So now this is going to be a portable save point, which is going to be really nice. I actually don't even know how these are used. Do you just, uh, do you just drop it, hold to sleep and save or press E to pick up and you can store it in this bad boy, I believe. If so, that's gonna be super, super clutch. Let's go, dude. All right, looks good to me. Everything is, uh, everything's solid. Let's go ahead and save before we head out. It's always good to be safe. And uh, man, I mean, I, I guess we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and, how many free spots do we have right now? We're carrying the compass. So we're gonna have eight free spots in total. I'm gonna say we need to leave at least four open for finding new, or at least three open. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right. Looks good to me. I think we're good, man. I think we're good to go. Let's get this raft out here. It's gonna be interesting. Hopefully it works out well for us. If I can get the raft out there, drop the sail, operate it, and off we go. So we're gonna go to Primo. That's gonna be kind of like a, a little rest stop. It'll be like our marker for getting back home. And then we're we're gonna go on to the next, the next row of islands. Now, we do have this compass, like I mentioned, to make sure that we're not getting lost. Primo is straight southwest from our homeland. So once we get to Primo, we know that to come home, we go northeast. We're gonna have to make sure that whatever island we go to off of Primo, we remember what direction it was so we know which direction to be able to come home. Otherwise, things could get a little bit sketchy. 
and we could end up getting lost. But uh, hopefully nothing bad happens. Hopefully we don't get attacked by sharks. And hopefully this is a, a grandiose new adventure. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's, um, let's get to Primo. See, like I can see an island off in the distance right there. It's tempting to just go straight to it, but I'm trying to be as smart as we can. Like it, it is so easy to get lost out at sea. Like you, you think it's not so bad. It's just straight lines, whatever. No, the waves knock you off course. You get turned around. I mean, I don't, I don't know that I could go off of any stars in this game. That'd be cool if they had like a North star or something you could kind of judge off of. But um, yeah, dude, you, you gotta be smart about the way you do this. So what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna like put this thing on the opposite side of this island. We're actually gonna beach it. I'm gonna get on the beach, get an exact reading of where that island is compared to this one. And then we can head that way. But we wanna make sure that we're going away from where we are. We don't wanna end up going back this way and going to to which one's over there is that shipwreck i think that's shipwreck over there we might not have to get off the right i don't know i just i want to make sure that we have exact readings because other otherwise we could get ourselves in trouble here we got to remember that we can grab the the doors off of this container here to be able to make stuff but i'm thinking oh that's a rock okay well looks looks like we are beaching against against my will that's fine okay let's stop operating go ahead and drop anchor raise the sails and here we go. Okay. So how do we use this survival compass? Why is it? How do we use it? There we go. Okay. So home is Northeast. That's home right there. Now, if we are out here on this Island, we're going to make sure we get an exact reading. If we're going to this one, oh, we can even go to that one too. Oh, dude, this is, this is pretty intense. Okay. So this one is Southwest of this Island. So again, Straight northeast goes home. We're pretty much in a straight line here. You guys can see. That's fine. So we're going to go to this one next. That's going to be our first one we go to. We may even try hitting a couple of islands here. But uh, we're going to go to this one. Looks pretty interesting. It's got a big rock in the middle. I see it might have like a little shipwreck off on the side. So that works for me. So let's go ahead and retrieve the anchor. We're going to throw this raft back out. Looks good. Raise the sail. Oh, no. No. No, 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 dude, no, it's gone. That was stupid, Trev. That was really freaking stupid. So I think it's fair to say that if you and I ever get caught on a stranded island, don't put me in charge of the raft. I uh, I don't like it, but uh, I just, I, I reloaded the last save spot. That would have put us so far behind. We would have had to stay on that island, cut down a bunch of trees, make another raft, go collect a bunch of rocks for an anchor, that sort of thing. Like it, it would have put us back a few episodes. So I just, I reloaded the save. We're sailing on by and we are coming up to our next island. Ooh. This one looks kind of interesting. We've got two super tall trees with a big rock, a big ship over on the right that's halfway sunk. And uh, I don't know, dude, there's so many things going on here. This is insane. There's another island off to the right. That's the, the other one we saw off in the distance. And I'm pretty sure there's another one way off over there. There's one over there. Dude, oh my goodness, we are so far from home right now. Okay, well, we're just gonna explore this one first, probably go to that one next since it's close by, and then we'll go back here and hope not to get lost. But uh, we made it. Here we go. So we can stop operating, we can drop it, we can lower the sails, and here we are on a brand new island. Let's see what we've got going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of these, make sure that we free up our inventory space. We can drop this as well. Let's get our uh, get our stuff set up. Got a bunch of fruits and stuff. We should uh, should be all good to go. Nice. Okay, so let's drop all these. Drop our food as well. Drop these things because we don't need them. Put our sleeping bag down. We can save now that we're here, and we're good to go, man. Here we go. Let's go snake hunting. Let's go see what we can find. Hopefully, there's some good stuff here. I see a bunch of rocks already. We've got tarps. We probably want to set up a uh, a water still first thing, and uh, and then kind of move from there. Oh, snakey snakies, where are you? I know you're probably here. Not gonna let my guard down until I find you. This one's kind of interesting. There's no like tall, grassy, jungly area, which is, is honestly kind of nice. Looks like we've got a few shipwrecks around here. There's one there, one there, and then one that we saw coming in on the other side of the island. Let's see, we've got some plank scraps. Like I said, I, I just want to do one loop of the island, kind of see what we have going. 
Ooh, hello. Good to see one of these boys. One thing we need to start doing is hunting the smaller, like, black tip sharks, because those guys give us leather as well. Or hide, to be able to turn into leather. So, uh, gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, it looks... We've done this before, and it always scares us every time. It... I'm not seeing any snakes. I'm gonna take down some of these palms. We're gonna get these sticks. We need to completely cut down one of these trees to get the, uh, the actual fronds. And then we're gonna be able to make ourselves a nice little, uh, little water still. I believe we just need one of these. We need a, a coconut, we need a lashing. Oh shoot, we're already full on stuff? My goodness. But yeah, we need to be able to make a lashing, so we need four of these. If we can do that, and then what all do we need? We need a, a coconut flask, we need the palm frond, the lashing. So we're actually gonna need a second lashing as well, so let's, let's cut down four more of these. Pick up the coconut, grab the palm fronds, and then we need one more. Young palm tree? Kinda hard to see at night, but we've got that. All right, so we can make we can make a couple lashings and then we can make a coconut flask, and now I think we should have everything. I'm gonna go ahead and build it over on this side. So all of our little like home bases on each island are gonna point towards home or towards like our, our direction home. So I'm gonna set up our water still right here and it's gonna be on the home side of the island. So we know to go to that island next. Now we can take those extra palm fronds, throw them in there, and we're gonna have some water cooking that uh, we can use later. Ah! Oh my God! Oh, yep, there's snakes. <laughs> Dude, I... I panicked so hard, I like, I don't even know what button I pressed. I saw him for a second and then he disappeared. Where'd he go? I just screamed like a little baby girl. Where was he? I was running this way. I saw him, I jumped, I turned around. These guys are, oh, there he is. Got him, you little son of a gun. So now I know that there's probably a second one of you somewhere, huh? Dude, I just, I, I, I can't take it. I'm, this game is gonna give me a heart attack. I don't know why the snakes always freak me out so much, but they do every single time. So in terms of what else we wanna do, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna pick up the rocks around here. We may hit the yucca plants, but I don't really wanna go walk in the grass until, uh, until morning time, because obviously there's gonna be another snake somewhere. Basically what I wanna do is get all the, the lashings and stuff from this place that we honestly, we don't even really need these. He's somewhere in here. Ah! I see you. Oh, he's, he's squirming away. I don't freaking see him. Fudge, man! So we know there's a second one on this stupid island. Are you even worth my time, snake? I don't even know. Like, really, the, the main thing I want to do out here, because we have so many fibrous leaves and everything out, the, the, the main thing I want to do is I want to go out into the shipwrecks. I want to see what we can find. I want to find more clay. I want to get all the good stuff. Uh, and, and venture out and you know, obviously we've we've kind of perfected uh, life above land I want to get more gyrocopter parts so we could eventually make the gyrocopter and the, the boat engine and stuff like that So like doing all this again. I don't I don't really have a need for it. I'm just trying to I mean We should probably kill the snake on this island though We want to make sure it's a safe island So whenever we come back we don't have to worry about it anytime we enter an island knowing it's a hundred percent safe would be really really nice So we're gonna find this stupid snake hopefully without getting bit Oh, dude, I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just running around, like jumping into the trees and stuff, just trying to find this stupid guy. He's not hissing. I'm just, I, I want to freaking take him out. Everything will be fine after we take this stupid snake out. Bro, he could be anywhere in here. It's, uh, I don't like it. We got to wait till sunrise, which is going to happen in, in about 30 minutes. I mean, we're, we're going to need daylight to go, go after the, uh, the, the shipwrecks anyway, so I'm, it's not that big of a deal that we can't currently do anything else. What the? Where? 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 He's somewhere over here. The problem is he constantly moves. Got him! Let's go! Sniped him! Ah, let's go! Oh, we just got bit by a crab. Let's go, dude. Did he take... He took my spear. Are you serious right now? This crab is rolling around inside the dead snake. That's disgusting. Our spear. Are we gonna get hit by the crab again? Please don't. My. I think my my spear's stuck in there somewhere. That's fine. Whatever, dude. I'm not even that worried about it. Can we move? We can move. 
Whoo! Snake is down. Life is so much easier. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and save on that one. My goodness, I, I'm like actually sweating. Okay, so now what we wanna do is probably make at least one or two more spears. How do we make those good spears? Lashing, stick, and then a stone tool. So we're gonna have to use some rocks and stuff. Let's grab all the lashings and stuff that we can now that we know that this island is safe, at least hopefully. We've never seen an island that has three snakes. It's always been two, so I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that that's the case. Otherwise, you guys are gonna hear me scream like a little girl again. So uh, let's go ahead and quick make a lashing with those. Looks good. I'm gonna grab the last two yucca trees, and then by the time that's up, we should be able to go diving down and see what we can find in some of the ships out here. F the snakes, dude. I, I absolutely hate them. Hate them so much. I, like, honestly, they're worse than the sharks in this game, 100%. Like, that would be my nightmare of a game, is playing something where it's just like walking through a jungle worrying about snakes. And I'm pretty sure there are a few survival games like that, so I think eventually we're gonna have to play them. I think that could be kind of fun. But I think we got most of the, um, most of the what's it called out here. Most of the little baby palms and everything else. I would, if there was a pee, -pee out here, that would be nice to find, but I'm not too worried about it. I think overall we're looking pretty good. So let's, um, I mean, how are we looking? Food and water, not great. I'm gonna go ahead and drink all this water. We can kind of do that, looks good to me. Uh, I guess, I mean, we could, we could drop a few of these here. So we have those to be able to make for water in the future. Pick these back up, let's go over here. We definitely wanna bring rocks back. I feel like those are some of the most important things that we can never actually find. I don't even think we really need the, the planks. So we're gonna put some rocks back in here. We'll put a tarp back in there. We'll put some of these fibrous leaves back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these spears here and then we could even make another one. And let's let's go hunt these pigs. So we've um, we've we've forgotten about these pigs in the past. So I I say we just get them while we can, as sad as it makes me. But that, that leather is, is the bee's knees. You can throw them at them or I think with these crude spears, I think just stabbing them, it's, it does the same amount of damage and then you don't run the risk of losing them. So there we go, all right. Now we're gonna be able to, to carve up some pig, get ourselves a couple of hides. Gonna do that with the second one as well. Actually, you know what? I don't even know where he is and we could totally chase him down at night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop this stuff for now. We actually, I'm gonna keep our refined spear and our knife pick up our knife and then we can we can drop the crudes. All we need is the refined and the knife. Okay, we're good to go. Let's grab, um, I'll grab two of these. We can go ahead and eat these right now. One, two. We'll grab our aloe salve and we can put this on. Did we put it on? Yeah, we put it on. And then I'm gonna grab our shark repellent. Looks good. And we aren't gonna use that yet, but we're just gonna take it for now. So let's go ahead and save. And I, I wanna dive while we have daylight. I feel like, I feel like waiting is not the right move. Oh, we also need our, our Pickaxe. I'm gonna come back here, grab our pickaxe. Where is that at? Boom, there it is, refined pick. Yeah, waiting, not really worth it. We wanna go out, we wanna see these shipwrecks swim around and make sure that we we can we can use daylight. So I, I think we're gonna stay out for two days. I think we're gonna, gonna search this island, search around in the waters of this island today. And then I think overnight we'll hunt for the, the other pig. We'll get ourselves ready, get ourselves fed, everything else. And then the next day we will go and go to the second island, which is kind of a, a good a good look. So let's see what we can find here. Looks like we've got an opening in this shipwreck. Nothing down here though. Oh, actually there might be. Let's see what's in here. Fuel vehicle part, cloth and lashing. Definitely a good look. Lantern, I mean, those are pretty good, but we have quite a few of them at this point, so I don't really want to waste too much space on them, but we'll see what we end up with. Come up top here. Looks like we've got some tires. Not really in the need of that currently. See if there's anything down here. There might be a second doorway there, but I don't know if the, I don't know that we can reach it. We might come back to it. Let's keep on swimming around. I'm gonna look on the, the floor. If you guys see Clay, holler at me. What's up, bro? Hey, it's good to see ya. This is the main reason that I wanted to go out today was to get this clay. We're gonna get a lot of clay, so we're gonna be able to build some cool clay things. This is precisely what the doctor ordered. So I do believe our first clay piece is down. That was good work there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out, make sure that we don't run into any issues. Oh shoot, we gotta go up for air. Feeling fairly confident here. 
Got the sardines and stuff swimming by, the lionfish. Not really worried about them currently. Looks like we've got another, ooh, there's a box in that shipwreck down there, okay. This seems like kind of a place that a shark would hang out, so I'm a little worried about this. Flashlight and cloth, not really too worried about the, the stuff we've got going on there, but we'll grab it anyway. There's another shipwreck out here. Dude, this is freaking Shipwreck Island, man. We see any, any clay anywhere? I don't. We've got barrels on this one. There's a box over here. Grab that crate. Looks like we might be able to go down into it as well. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. There's a doorway. Ooh. Leather, oh shoot. Dude, there's so much good stuff in here. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this one. We're gonna go to the beach, drop our stuff off, and then come back. This is what I'm talking about, baby. This was, this was well worth it. So I'm just, I'm gonna drop everything that we found, including all this clay. Definitely gonna wanna come back for it, but that, that looks good for now. All right, let's go back out. This is probably the best shipwreck that we've ever found. This one is, uh, this one is definitely solid. I feel like it got kind of silent. We don't have the good happy music right now, which is a bit concerning. We got in over here, right? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to be quick about this. Grab this, grab that, grab that. Anything else in here? There is a door back here. Barrels, nice. Dude, we probably got enough to be able to make a freaking barrel raft just out of this out of this island. This is called Barrel Island, officially. Just got named. Let's see if there's anything else down here. We gotta go up for air. Barrel Island, right behind Primo. So now when we decide we wanna upgrade to barrels for our, our raft, we're just gonna be able to come out here and we're gonna have six of them available to us right away. So we gotta, gotta make sure we take a mental note. I feel like we always see like buoys and barrels and tires and everything. I think the other thing we saw was tires, right? It wasn't barrels, that's fine. This could still be called Barrel Island. Or we could call, we could call it Treasure Island because we got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna call this one Treasure Island, I like that. And it's kinda cool because that's that's the name of an actual island in the Bahamas. That's where like Atlantis and stuff is, so. Treasure Island is the name of this one. It's got barrels and tires. What the fudge, dude? We're just hanging out, we're just bros now? We're just, we're, we're cool, huh? Make sure there's no freaking starfish near us. Are you serious right now? Homie's just hanging out with me. Just swimming right by. I guess he wasn't hungry today. All right, well, my goodness, that just scared the absolute crap out of me. We're okay though, what time is it? 13.55, we've got a storm coming in, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop all this stuff off by the raft. Go back, get the other stuff, drop it off by the raft. We're gonna do some, some organization while we're waiting. And then we're gonna scan this part of the island once the storm is up. And then we're gonna move on to the next one when it, when it turns nighttime. Come over here, grab our stuff. Dude, we got so, we got two like inventories full of stuff here and we didn't even cover the last half of the island. Granted, this, this half on the other side isn't gonna have any, any shipwrecks, I don't think, but still, that's um, that's pretty solid, dude. This is a good haul so far. We've already maxed out the number of crates that we can carry, and we haven't even gone to the second island of the day yet. So unfortunately, it was not until f around five o'clock here that the uh, the storm ended. Oop, that's a shark right there. So I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to really s see all that much, unfortunately, in terms of this last part of the island. That's fine though. I mean, uh, really the, the shipwrecks are what I was most interested in. I was hoping to find some clay. We can always go out exploring for clay. But yeah, sh shipwrecks and pieces to be able to make the gyrocopter and stuff are, are what I was interested in. So I'm gonna get fully organized here. We're gonna load up on food and water and everything. We're gonna sleep and then we're gonna go hit, um, I say we hit that island is closer next up. So like we're, we're gonna go there, that'll be our second stop of the day, the second thing to explore. And then we're gonna go back there and then we're gonna end up going back home. So that should be good. Hope you guys are down for that. I feel like so far we've done pretty well for ourselves and we'll see what kind of secrets this island over here holds. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I didn't even think about this, but unfortunately all of our fruits spoiled here, but uh, that's all right. We're looking good for food, water, and everything else. And uh, I, I think we're pretty much good to go. So let's, let's get this thing facing outwards and we are gonna move on to our next destination. Off we go. We are gonna be doing a nice little U-turn and we are gonna be going to this island over here. Paradise was good to us. And uh, now it's time to move on and see what's next. Got a feeling there's probably a, a huge, you know, deposit of clay down here somewhere that we're missing. But I mean, I, I wanted to cover two islands in two days. 
If we stay here, we aren't gonna be able to see the shipwrecks of the next island, so we might as well move on. And uh, like I said before, we could always come back. So it's been it's been good to us. We got some good parts and everything. I'm hoping to be able to make at least a boat motor soon. I mean, we're gonna be farming to get potatoes to be able to make fuel. We want to be able to burn off fuel. Even uh, I mean, a gyrocopter would be pretty cool too. Imagine being able to fly from island to island to get our resources rather than than doing it by boat like this. So that that could be cool. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Is that all the way off in the distance there, is that home, do you guys think? I think that might be home. It might be lit up from our lights and stuff, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna keep Primo in our sights and make sure that we build our tent and our, our water maker and everything on the side that faces Primo. Cause that way we know whichever side that our water still is on, you go to that closest island. And then from there, we'll know how to get home. So this should be good. We didn't even really use the compass to be honest. As long as we've got visual representations and, and you know, marks, then we, we should be okay. But things are looking good. It's um, relatively early here. It's currently 21. Oh, wow. It's actually late, I guess. But we've got a, a full a full inventory. Can't really do all that much. So we're just, we're going to get on here. We're going to set everything up. Hopefully build, us, build ourselves a little water still. And um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Also, I just realized something we didn't do. We didn't hunt that second pig on that island. I always forget about the pigs. That should be something we take care of when we first get there. If there are any pigs on this island, we're taking them out first thing. I can already see a ship over there on the left, which is nice. We need to get an earlier start on the morning. As soon as daylight hits, we're gonna get out there and start swimming. We could even put our shark repellent on so we could be super confident about it if we wanted. I don't know, we'll see. That is Primo right there. So we wanna put, we wanna land this and put our stuff on the side of Primo. So we go straight to Primo and then we go northeast from Primo to get back home. Can already see a few different wrecks. There's a small boat there. There's one completely underwater over here. I see quite a few rocks on the island. Dude, this thing is lush. Very, very lush. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and lower the sail. Drop the anchor. Can't drop the anchor. All right, we'll just drag it up on the beach then. See any snakes? Not yet. All right, so this, this point is where we're gonna wanna drop everything. So let's come in here, drop it, drop it, drop it. We've got a whole freaking squad of stuff here, man. This is insane. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take out all of the maybes that we might wanna keep, but probably don't wanna keep. I don't know how we have three aloe salves. I think we used one and it didn't actually count it. But yeah, all the, the maybe stuff that we may not be keeping, I'm just gonna throw out here. That way we know what storage space is open. So we'll grab, like we aren't gonna bring back simple speed. We don't need those. Um, this stuff we definitely want. The compass we may not want to bring back. We could leave that here. We have a few of those. Clay we definitely want. Lashings, maybe not. But yeah, you guys, you guys get what I mean. So we're going to know for sure exactly how much space we have. And then we'll work from there. I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's grab our one refined spear. And now we're going to go do what we always do when we enter these islands. We're going to look for snakes. We're going to pick up all the rocks along the edges while we can't really see anything at nighttime. And then as soon as tomorrow hits, it should be a good day. We can go diving. Ooh, what is this over here? Lots of crabs here. Got a container over here. If we had an ax, we could chop this thing down and see what's going on inside of it. We've got some corrugated scrap. Nothing in there. It's cool because you can break these things down and use those. You can't use them as a, um, as like a, a raft or anything, but you can use them for walls or doorways on your house and stuff like that. So that could be kind of interesting, kind of unique. But for now, we're just getting all the stuff on the beach. This guy made it all the way up on the beach. That's kind of nice. He's got some tires on there. I mean, I guess we could technically take a look at this thing right now. I'm not gonna mess with the tires yet. Open this up, open this up. Electrical vehicle part. Is there anything else in here? Oh baby, we got ourselves an air tank. That is clutch, dude. There could be something up top. There also could be something down below. So we'll go check if there's, yeah, there's like a hole there, a hole in the hull. Might be able to do something with that, but let's, let's just keep exploring for now. Could be something on this, no. Tarps, I feel like we see a lot of tarps and I feel like the only thing we use it for is to be able to make this water still. So I don't know if we still need to be collecting those. I guess you can use them in, in house building pieces, but overall it feels like we're always collecting those and never using them. So we gotta be careful about that. I'm gonna grab another spear. Let's drop, this is definitely going in, in one of these. So we're definitely, definitely gonna put this in here. That's a definite and this is a definite. The rocks are pretty much definite too, but we can just drop these for now. Let's go kill this pig. Come here, little buddy. I promise not to hurt you. 
Just kidding. That was rude, huh? Got him. Oh, what? Gotta hit you twice? Got him. Dude, I hate how the spears disappear to the ground. That's really frustrating. We're gonna be careful about that. We got a refined one back though. We only lost the crude. So as always, the most important thing that you need when trying to survive is to hopefully not get bitten by a snake. We have no clue if there are snakes on this island, but the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut down this tree. We're gonna get the palm fronds. We're gonna make ourselves that water still. Shoot, that totally just fell the wrong way, dude. Uh, please don't be any snakes. At least not right here. I would say we can wait till till daylight to be able to take them out, but no, we're pretty much gonna be swimming as soon as daylight hits. So we'll swim early in the morning and then hopefully have enough time to be able to take on some snakes in the afternoon. Let's see if we have what we need here. Oh, we need lashings. So we need four of these. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to make ourselves a coconut flask. Oh, nope, we need to make the lashing first. Lashing and then make the coconut flask. And then we should be able to make the water still. We need three rocks. We've got the palm fronds. We need another lashing. We need tarps. Okay, we've got rocks and tarps there. We just need one more lashing. So we need a few, a few more of these. We gotta watch out for the stupid snakes, dude. Are there any around on the outside that we can grab rather than walking into the interior? These guys are always, always up in the tall grass. How many of these do we have? We need two more. Got them. I feel like the floor is lava or something. I just don't want to touch it. I don't know where these guys are. Okay, we got it. So we should be able to make- Oh, we already had lashings here. That was stupid. So now we should be able to- If we're looking at all this stuff, we should be able to make the water still. Looks good. We're going to put this pointed towards home. Put it right over there. And then we can drop some of these bad boys in there. We've got some water making. Okay, cool. Good spot to save. It's currently 4.07 a.m. It'll be daylight and in two hours, I guess we can organize our stuff that we have here and, and just kind of get ready to go swimming. Got our smoked meat here, which is really nice. So even though we're hungry, I mean, we've, we've had stacked up meat the entire time. I guess the, um, the water is kind of a situation, but that's why we always set up water on each island. Those kawawa fruits are nice. I didn't think about how quickly they would go bad though. Like I can't believe they didn't even last a day. I guess that makes sense for fruit, but um, it just, it kind of sucks. So um, let's grab these. We're gonna grab our pick. We're gonna grab our knife. Looks good to me. I'm, I'm thinking we go out. Let's maybe see if we can find a snake or something. Find some rocks. Just find whatever we can. We're just waiting, waiting for the sun to come up. So we can do one more lap around the island. I'm just trying to be as productive as we possibly can. And, um... Shoot. Stay right like that, please. That's right, baby. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I was trying to do. That's that productivity I'm talking about. But yeah, as soon as uh, as soon as the sun is up in the sky and we actually have decent visibility in the water, we're gonna head right back out. Aha! We found a boat, boys! Shoot. I love it when they, they make it easy. They get up on you. They curl up, they're like getting all angry, warning you. Nah fam, I'm taking you down. Okay, I think I think that's all the snakes. Dude, that, that literally could not have gone any better. So we have, I think we have one set of fibrous leaves that we can add three to, to, to do a complete 24 in the stack. I like completing stacks to make sure that we're, we're being as efficient as possible with our storage. But dude, this, I mean, this, this was literally perfect. We could probably grab a couple extras to be able to put on the water still, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna get out there. Grab our shark repellent just in case, and we should have a good day out on the water. Yeah, 21, so we're gonna put put the max in there to 24. We could add fiber there, leave these three out in front in case we need it. I mean, why not take a, a drink as well? Looking good on water and food and everything. I think, I think we're good to go. We are not gonna need these bad spears. We're not gonna need rocks. We're not gonna need this meat. These three we can keep with us. Okay, looks good, and then let's also grab the shark repellent. Let's go for a save and let's head out there. Here we go. We're gonna start with this ship. I don't think we're gonna be able to, to actually get inside of it. We're gonna check. I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to though. So let's just, um, let's check and, and see what happens. Looks like, yeah, there, I mean, there's there's a few little holes. Are we gonna be able to get in there is the question. I'm trying to look down and make sure we aren't seeing any poisonous starfish. No, I don't. I don't think we can get in there. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. I guess we could just kind of search around for a little bit of Oh my goodness gracious, dude, is it- Do we just use it? I say we, I'm using it. We've got a full day ahead of us. What? 
our shark repellent is on. We've got a full, literally a full day on a brand new island. I'm using it. We're just, we're going to go for it, dude. I don't need to be spooked out by this shark. We're going to look for clay. We're going to search the shipwrecks. We're going to do everything we need to do. And we're going to make sure we have a good day. No, no shark bites in our future. The unfortunate part is it is still a little dark. Ooh, those little guys still freak me out. We do need to start, start attacking those guys though. They won't attack you unless provoked. They'll attack you back if you hit them. They give you leather like the pigs do. Oh, hello. Is this, I think this might be rock though. Nope, it's clay. Nice. I was gonna say it looked like a, a bit of a different color, but okay. We're gonna be diving the whole day, looking for clay, looking for cool stuff in the shipwrecks. This is, uh, this is gonna be good. So we got that one complete. I'm gonna keep looking around. Dude, eventually we're gonna have to go back after that tiger, that big boy. He's, uh, I mean, he's, they all, I'm pretty sure they respawn and I think there's multiple of them. I don't think it's the same. Well, it could be the same shark, I guess. I have no clue. I know they respawn if you kill them though. Like you can definitely take out multiple of those, but I, I'm just, I'm looking for revenge. He's always creeping on us. He's always freaking us out a little bit, making us scared. So eventually I would love to uh, to end up taking him out. But so far, I don't think we have that capability. Really, I, I think one of the big things is um, the refined spears. I think five refined spears will, will take him down. If we make some more of those, he's definitely gonna be killable. 9.13 a.m. and we've already been out here scoping out a lot of the island. We've done pretty well so far. I'm not seeing any clay. I mean, if, if we're quick enough through here, we could potentially go back to Treasure Island and see if we could find some more clay. We didn't fully cover that one, but I just, I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to make it over there in time. We'll see. This is a beautiful island here. I don't know what we're gonna call it, but it's, it's definitely, I feel like it has the most gorgeous reefs. Like the area around it. It's it's very colorful, lots of um, just varying pieces, you know what I mean? Tons of fish, tons of sharks, tons of cool rock formations. Maybe this will be called Reef Island. There's a barrel down there, but I don't think it's got anything good for us. Man, this, I mean, it's beautiful, but there's like nothing here is the problem. We're making our way, that shipwreck is over here. It's fully submerged. Usually those ones are pretty solid. I'm so excited we got an air tank, dude. That was clutch for sure. But yeah, there's like, there's nothing here, man. I haven't seen much clay. This is the only, oh, buoys. Bro, we, I've been looking for these. I know we found some back in the day. Buoy balls, baby. Pick it up. Oh gosh. Oh, wow. Pick them up, pick them up before they float away. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, give me all. No, 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 come back here. We've got storm starting, which is never ideal, but we do have our shark repellent, so I'm still feeling pretty confident. Nothing up top here. Definitely gonna have stuff down low. We can grab some rations, as well as... Nice. That was solid. So the console, I think, yeah, you can grab it from up top. You don't have to actually be looking at it. Oh, here's some clay. Hello. I think we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to drop some stuff off though. So let's go back. Let's make sure there's no Poisonous starfish. We're gonna drop off the important stuff, go back out and get that clay. You see what I mean though? Like this thing, even even right here where there's not really a whole lot, it's just so colorful and beautiful. I don't think we can get in there. There's just so much more color here than a lot of the other islands. So yeah, I think we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this uh, Reef Island. So looking good. I'm gonna grab all this clay, then we're gonna kind of keep, keep searching around. Unfortunately, I wish there were more shipwrecks on this island. I think this is the last one. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It's kind of nice. This isn't like a full-blown storm. This is just a little rain shower. So we'll uh, we'll grab this. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else interesting, but we may end up heading back. We got so many like vehicle parts, electrical parts, stuff like that. I think we're going to be in a good spot for, uh, for potentially making engine-based things in the next episode. It's going to be fun. It's only noon. So like I'm tempted if we don't, if we don't find, ooh, look at that. Is that a sea urchin down there? That thing is huge. If we don't find anything super quickly here, we could potentially go back because we've we've pretty much made a loop. Oh, here's another piece of clay. We'll finish the loop and then if we think we have enough time, we might be able to make it back to the other island. I'm just thinking like since we already have the shark repellent on, we might as well might as well use it, take advantage of it while it's here. But I just I, I don't know, dude. I don't know that we have enough daylight. I feel like the days go so quick in this game. Another piece of clay right here. Let's go, boys. We're gonna have a lot of clay. This, I, I think this was probably our most productive episode away from home ever. Like we, obviously we build a lot of stuff at home and cool stuff happens back there, but for a little road trip, this has been absolutely fantastic. I am so stoked on what we have. Obviously kind of a, a my next priority is our farming, but I think after that, we're gonna have plenty of resources to be able to make some, uh, some cool motorized vehicles. So 
We've got cool stuff happening for sure. With that, I think we have made a full circle of the island and we have not seen anything else. Yeah, unfortunately there were just the two shipwrecks here. One of them was honestly kind of boring. This one right here was, was pretty bad. The beached boat, so cool. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna organize everything. I honestly don't think we have enough time. I mean, after organization and stuff, no, it gets dark at like five o'clock, it's currently two. We aren't gonna be able to go back to that other island, so let's make sure we organize everything in the daylight, uh, get everything packed up, and then we're gonna go back home and we should be good. Dude, look, we have a, a pretty much full crate here, and then we have another like half of an inventory of clay. This was a uh, this was a really good day. All right, guys. Well, I think I've got it all figured out. This is what we're leaving behind: a piece of clay, a rock. This knife is currently uh, it's it's on its last legs here, fifteen percent. So we're gonna drop that. A couple of plank scraps, cooked medium meat. I mean, we could eat that right now for the heck of it. Why not? Uh, we've got some water we could drink here, so that should be good. So we're all the way up on all of that. Tarps, like I said, I just I don't think we really use them. Compass, we're gonna leave. We don't really use that all that much. We've got a couple back at home. I honestly, well, maybe we should take the compass. I'm trying to think about what we really don't need here. I guess this ball, we could open up a spot there. Well, we're, we're def the problem is we're definitely gonna wanna put the sleeping bag in here. Shoot, so we, we, might be, we might be leaving the compass. Leather and stuff is really important. All this stuff is really important. Yeah, we're leaving the compass, dude. All right, sorry, compass. I'll miss you, buddy. You were good to us, but we gotta get out of here. We got a full uh, a full thing. We're all good to go. Let's hope that we can make it home. So that's Treasure Island. That's Primo. If we go straight to Primo and pretty much straight past it, we should start to see some of the lights from our own home, home islands. I'm hoping for the best and expecting the worst. I did not save before we left here. I should have saved before I put away that sleeping bag. But you know what? We're just going to go for it. We're going to see what happens. Oh, man. Going to test our, our sense of direction here, I guess. Hopefully everything goes well. Would you look at that? I actually, I think off of the distance there, I think that's home. It's kind of in a weird spot though. Well, I guess, no, that would be because it, it shouldn't be lining up with Primo. It sh if we were on that island, it would be directly behind Primo. But since we're on this island, we went right, so it should be to the left. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's home. I'm gonna sail kind of close to Primo just to make sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that white light off in the distance is home. So that's good. Now we know whenever we get too far away, look for the light, just like the mystery box back in the day. That'll take us home. Nothing better than sailing by moonlight, baby. There's Primo right there. Uh, you guys can't see it right now, but I did see there was like a little container off to the side. You guys remember there was a container on the uh, the side of this island. So that's, that's our first island we ever went to. We're gonna sail on by. And um, like I said, I believe this should be home. We're hoping for the best. I'm gonna go ahead and get back down, make sure we don't fall off. But yeah, this, this should be home directly in front of us. Yo, what the fudge is, what? I don't think we want to get too close to him because he could potentially knock us off our raft, bro. Bro, what? There are like giant whales out here? Okay, I'm I'm nervous now. If he flicks us off this raft, I'm gonna freak out. I'd be so upset. We have so much on the line right now. We have so much in our inventory. We've done so well. I was just chilling, like looking at my phone. Like obviously there's no fast travel in this game. So like I, I kind of always just like chill back for a minute. And then all of a sudden I saw a giant tail sticking out of the water. Now those guys are cool. I kind of wish, I kind of wish we didn't have so much stuff right now and so much on the line and we would have saved because I would drop the anchor and go swim with him. But I think for right now, we just kind of want to get home. This is home, right? This is home. Let's go, boys. We did it. Man, that's crazy. You can't even see, like, to think that that was our halfway point and then beyond that, you can't even see it. It's so far off in the distance. That is seriously insane. We made it back home in one piece. We have so many valuables to show for it. Just two days ago, we left from this spot exactly and now we are back, baby. Go ahead and lower that, unoperate that, drag her up on the sand so nothing bad happens and we are good to go, man. Okay, so I think, um, I think first things first, we're gonna wanna tend to these bad boys which are getting low but they did not die, so I guess that's good. We'll, we'll keep the pee-pee going, but like I said, I think we're gonna delete these guys anyway. So we'll pick these, get ready for uh, for the next farming day, and um, man, this, this was literally perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop all these things, I'm gonna organize everything we got, and I'm gonna get us prepared for our next adventure. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. That thing just went flying. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. And um, until then, peace out.